Well, in this video, I'm going to be taking my line level audio processing center here and feeding it into a lab grade Fluke RF signal generator. And the reason is I wanted to see how how good it would be if we used the system as an AM high fidelity exciter. So I have the uh, line level audio processing center here and I'm going to uh, go to a program I developed uh, specifically for AM. It has a very aggressive equalization curve and multiband limiting functions to really uh, uh, get the voice uh, compressed and equalized nicely. We're going to feed that into the Fluke signal generator here, the 6061A. The audio comes in the left and we're going to take the RF uh, in the right there and feed that back into our receiver, uh, which is the Apache Labs a non 8000 DLE and we'll leave the receiver to 20 kilohertz uh, which will allow a, a flat response uh, with 10 kilohertz of recovered audio on the upper sideband and lower sideband. So it should be a pretty interesting uh, demonstration uh, to go ahead and uh, use the ProGear audio uh, into the Fluke signal generator and we'll listen to it and be able to recover that audio through the uh, system here and we'll listen how that sounds and look at its spectral density and all kinds of uh, interesting stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and start this and see what the uh, results uh, have in store for us. It could be quite surprising or maybe not. Uh, first thing we'll do on the uh, signal generator is uh, insert a frequency. We're already in the external AM uh, profile uh, set to 99%. So I'd like to go to 11.275 megahertz uh, as just a reference. Again, this is a closed circuit, so no need to be concerned about the frequency. We'll go ahead and level this out uh, right around minus 50 dBm, which is a real healthy, strong signal and then we'll feed that RF back into the 8000 as you saw. And then we'll go ahead and uh, modulate and watch it on the receiver and see what happens. Okay, doing a fine level adjust and that should be good. Okay, we have the audio processing uh, dedicated now to a program that uh, seems to uh, do well with the Fluke signal generator. And this is a quick uh, test transmission of the equalization curve and dynamic limiting that I put together specifically for the Fluke signal generator. So we have the line level rack audio uh, processing going into the Fluke signal generator, the output of the Fluke driving into the receiver of the Anon uh, Apache Labs Anon uh, 8000 DLE. The receiver, as you can see, is uh, receiving the double sideband signal and it is recovering 10 kilohertz of audio on the upper sideband and lower sideband of the receiver here which is centered at 11.275 arbitrarily at the moment so we can really start to gauge that uh, uh, even though the uh, receiver is stopping at uh, 10 kilohertz uh, from the center carrier you can start to see that there's a, still quite a bit of energy uh, extending beyond uh, the 10 kilohertz and in fact into uh, looks like uh, 15 kilohertz to 18 kilohertz of actual audio energy into the sidebands. Uh, you can see that if you uh, look uh, left or right uh, farther off to the edges of the screen. So good, uh, good demonstration. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, zoom in here just a tad so we can look at uh, uh, some of the more details of the audio. Uh, in this particular view you can uh, see uh, the center clearly and we're going out uh, uh, 276 is 1 kilohertz of audio 277 is 2 kilohertz 278 would be 3 and uh, 280 and so on you can start to see uh, just uh, exactly uh, where the majority of the audio energy is is being modulated so quite a Quite an interesting demonstration just to use the uh, Fluke signal generator as the uh, exciter in this case. And as you saw, we had the uh, wideband uh, amplifier as well, the 10 kilohertz to 250 megahertz uh, wideband amplifier that could uh, generate 15 watts of uh, peak energy. 
So in fact, uh, we could actually use that as a uh, intermediate uh, power amplifier and then feed that into any number of the uh, high power amplifiers uh, as well to uh, create a whole, a whole system chain, if you will. But that's not really the point. The point of this was just to uh, do a quick experiment to see just uh, uh, how well the uh, signal generator would actually act as a uh, as a high fidelity AM transmitter. So it's pretty pretty interesting to do that and uh, look at uh, look at the audio as it's being recovered here in a 20 kilohertz AM filter, which again is uh, looking at uh, 10 kilohertz of audio either side of center. So just a neat demonstration here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was kind of fun to do and a neat concept again uh, to uh, to look at, see what we could do with the uh, the stuff uh, laying around here and and uh, doing things I've always thought about but uh, never really have tried. So, hope you enjoyed that. This uh, is Tyler, amateur radio operator, Kilo Alpha Zero, Kilo Alpha. Thanks for watching.